What's up guys, we are back with Lollipop Chainsaw for a brief moment. Uh, I'm probably not going to fully LP this game until uh, until I beat it. But this game is pretty uh, pretty fun and pretty hilarious at times. Juliet, it's Cordelia. Just a tip, sis, but you're moving around too much as you hunt zombies. From a distance, use your homing attack. When they get close, rush in for the kill. It's kind of common hunter knowledge, but you know. Now, I think this game was designed to be uh, to have a lot of action, but it was also uh, designed to be fun. Unfortunately, some of these mini games are kind of annoying. Ah, oh, damn! I missed. How did I miss the bills right there in front of me? Now I'm gonna overheat. Oh, down, set, hut. Nick, it would be really cool if I could implant an MP3 player in your forehead, a boyfriend, and an iPod all in one. More room in my purse. You realize that's completely degrading, right? Damn, zombie. I highly recommend that you get this skill as soon as possible. With uh, this, this spin thing right here. And you can even uh, kill the zombies after that with, with the little, you know, stab thing here. Alright, let's see. Uh, I missed the zombie, damn. I, I could've got silver medal there, but that's okay. There's a few medals up here too, but they're more down there on the bottom. They're safer up here. I see the ship. There we go. Alright. Now, I really think that we need to talk about this because unfortunately a lot of you are probably going to quit the game here. As I said, some of these mini games are kind of annoying and, and so far, this has been the most difficult part of the game for me. Zombie baseball. This shit's hard as hell and this is the normal difficulty. I don't even want to think about trying this on hard mode. Basically, what's going to happen here is... um. Nice jump. She got some nice boobs. What's gonna like happen here is uh um, stop with this. Cordelia's like the best big sister ever. Chainsaw, Chainsaw blaster. blaster! Chainsaw Blaster. And it couldn't have came at a better time. Zombie baseball! Aim and shoot at the approaching zombies. Can you score a winning home run? The game Okay, uh, unfortunately, as I said, this shit's pretty difficult. What's gonna happen here is, uh, I, I need to, I need to explain it now before I actually do it, cause when I do, I need to stay focused, this shit is pretty hard. What's gonna happen here is these zombies are gonna, are gonna come out of the ground, and you gotta shoot them with, 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 with the chainsaw blaster. Um, Nick is gonna, like, run around the bases as if he's playing baseball. You have to shoot the, you have to shoot the zombies to stop them from damaging him. Uh, you can't leave home plate, of course. There's supposed to be a baseball game. Uh, if the zombies uh, take away all the self, it's considered a game over, and you're gonna get blown to a million fucking pieces. Uh, he has to run around the bases for for a grand total of three times before you actually pass it. The first two times is really really easy, but the third time is when it gets really difficult when you got pitchers throwing baseballs at him and cheerleaders doing dances at him, stuff like that. It's really really hard. Um, some people recommend that you don't do the auto fire. I mean the um the auto aim and I and, and I recommend that too. All right, let's let's get this started. No tell how many times I'm gonna have to do this before I should pass it because this this is hard. I passed it once, but it's, it's really difficult. It starts with the home team losing by an overwhelming amount of runs. There is a somewhat easier way to do this. You shot him instead of throwing a ball at him. That's hilarious. Sweet shot. I mean, this right here is uh, just to warm you up. After you shot about three or four of them, then you then you do the real thing here. Bottom of the ninth, Juliet Starling at bat. I mean, it, it is kind of fun, but it's kind of annoying considering how hard this shit is. All right, the trick to passing the, the trick to passing this shit is to know where to stand. See this ammo right here? If you stand directly on that ammo, sometimes it'll automatically refill while you're shooting. See that? It's at 36. What this does is, I don't have to, I don't have to like stop and I don't have to s stop my shooting and actually, you know, pick it up. I, I keep shooting. It's not going to work all the time, but it works sometimes. Notice how I'm not doing this on the on the, on the the auto aim. You don't want to do that because you really need to keep, keep your eye on Nick here. Let's see. I 
think Another hit. this this I think this is the spot. Oh shit. Yeah. Now these pitches are really really dangerous. I think those guys do the most damage to him. Yes, as you see, it doesn't take a lot hits to kill this guy. Unfortunately, I mean it doesn't take a lot hits to kill him to kill your kill your boyfriend here. Come on, now die, bitches. Die again and stay dead. Damn fucking zombies. Come on now. Now see how it's automatically filling up. Yeah, if if you stand in the in the right spot, it'll all make you it'll all make you feel like you shoot it, and that really really helps. I don't have to like stop and you know pick up more ammo. It doesn't always work as you can see, but but when it does work, yeah. Now here's where shit gets hard right here. Uh, I think if you do this uh super thing, it it'll, it'll actually help you out. I'm not sure, but this shit's pretty hard, and those pitches are your priority. Those see that? He's already dead. Well, the game's over. Guess that bomb's gonna go off. While well, you're blown into a million fucking pieces, think we'll wrap things up in the booth. See ya. See this? See, he was at he was at half health and he just lost half his health in like one attack. That's this this shit's really really difficult. So no telling how many times we're gonna have to actually do this before I actually pass it. But th this is not easy to do. And this is the normal difficulty, so I don't even want to try this on the hard difficulty. But anyway, basically, the only advice I can give you for this is to um, use the menu aim. Uh, make sure that you kill the pitchers as quickly as possible. And the cheerleaders, too. And try to stand in a spot directly where the ammo appears. That way, when you shoot, it'll, it'll feel automatically. And you don't have to, like, stop to try to, you know, pick it up all the time. You can keep shooting. But like I said, it doesn't always work. So I guess that's that's kind of a glitch. I don't know if, if that was intended for the game. But it's a good one. <laughs> Alright, let me try to stay focused for this because this is really, really hard. I mean, and I honestly, I beat the boss of my, uh, the boss, the boss of this level. I beat him in my first try. This is actually much, much harder than the boss. The boss is kind of easy. Well, not necessarily, but it's it's like easier than this shit. This, this, this is just this is just ridiculous. Die. Try to kill them while they're actually coming out of the ground, so they don't get you know get a foothold. All right, that's one run. I'm trying to stay in the spot where, where that thing's gonna appear, so I can reload it after every shot and don't have to. There we go. Guys, good shot. See that? See, see how, uh, how my gun is automatically uh, reloading down there? That really, really, really helps. I don't have to like run down and pick up the ammo. I, I can keep shooting without stopping. This, this really, really helps you pass this thing. I don't know if you can actually shoot Nick and damage him, but I'm not gonna try it. And make sure that you hit these guys because uh, you, you, you really wanna kill them as quick as possible. Especially those damn pitches. All right, come on, die! Come on, man, look at that. See, see, he he always lost half his health there. See that? That's that, that's just fucking ridiculous. And look how fast these, these these bitches came out. I mean, they just come out of nowhere. I mean, it's it's like it's like they it's like they just it's the appear, and they're really really fast. See that? This this shit is not easy. This is very very hard. Now, I don't know if doing this powering up thing actually helps you, but I'm doing it just in case it does. See that? See how hot this shit is? Die. Die, bitch. Die. No, you don't. No, you don't, bitch. No, you don't. Back off. Back off, bitch. Back off. Back off. Back off. And I did it. Victory. Looks like zombie baseball has its own Babe Ruth. And she's a real babe. I should do this all day, but I think we better move on. Yeah, I guess we should find my sister. I think the ship went over to the school's unrealistically gigantic swimming pool. Totally. Let's go. So, you really want to try to keep his health at full health for that third round? Because you're definitely going to get hit during that third round. 
so I don't know exactly where the spot is, but if, if you stand directly on the ammo, sometimes when she shoots, it'll automatically refill, and that definitely helps because uh, you don't have to like stop and run around and get it, and by the time you do that, they would have hit them. You have, you have to keep shooting. You have to keep shooting these guys in order to pass this shit, so hopefully uh, this will help you, you guys uh, pass this because this is very, very hard, and a lot of you are going to quit the game here. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.